Oh, hi there everyone, my name's Sean and I'm from Mr. Digital and I'm going to help you create your own email address using your cPanel hosting backend and then set that email up in Microsoft Outlook. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go into your cPanel backend. So it's usually your domain forward.com.au or .com or .net or whatever it is forward slash cPanel. And once you come to that screen you just type in your login and password and you'll come to the cPanel screen. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click on email accounts and you want to set up your new email. So I'm going to delete that email that I've got there just to start from scratch and I want to type in my email address that I want to set up. I want to type in my login and password and set the amount of space that I want for this particular email address. So I can choose unlimited if I want or you can specify whatever you want and you just need to click on create account. Now in order to now that's pretty much all you have to do when, in, in regards to setting up the email but you want to get the settings because everyone's hosting is different you want to get the settings so you can type those settings into your Microsoft Outlook so you can actually start sending emails properly. So what you do is you go click on more and you click on configure email client and you want to just focus on the email uh, the email settings here in this box so the non SSL settings now it does say not recommended but I think it works perfectly you can use the recommended settings if you want but I'm gonna base them on the non SSL settings okay so what we want to do first is we want to go into our Microsoft Outlook as you can see and you want to click on file and you want to click on add account so what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to set up a new email address on your Microsoft Outlook uh, once this screen comes up you want to click on manually configure server settings and click next and you want to click next again from internet email now we want to type your name so the name is what will come up when you send an email to someone so they'll see that name so I want to I'll type Sean Freitas that's my name and the email address I set up okay and the account type is pop3 now there are two different ways you can set up your email you can do pop3 or IMAP now pop3 uh, downloads the email off the web server the email server um, whereas IMAP the email store on your web server oh, sorry on your email server and it allows you your computer and your phones and your other mobile devices to all synchronize with the server so if you delete something off your computer it actually deletes it off your other devices as well but for this particular tutorial uh, we'll just do POP3 um, POP3 will download the email off your server uh, and if you have other devices that are using POP3 as well they'll download those emails off the server as well and the emails will store on those devices so if you delete it off one device it won't delete it off the other so that's just the difference between IMAP and POP3 make sure POP3 is selected now what you want to do is you want to find out the incoming and the outgoing mail server details so if we go back to that screen you'll see the incoming server is mail.mrdigital.com.au and the outgoing is mail.mrdigital.com.au as well so because they're the same we just want to select one of them and copy it and highlight and copy go into your Outlook and paste them into both the incoming and the outgoing mail server now your username is your email address so as you can see username contact at Mr. Digital so I will paste that into my username and I'll just type in the password that I chose one more thing you want to do is you want to click on more settings and you want to click on the advanced tab and you want to make sure your incoming port and your outgoing port match the details on the cPanel page so if we go back to the cPanel page you'll notice the incoming server port is 110 and the outgoing port is 26 so if we go back to Outlook 110 that's right 26, 25 is there but we want it to be 26 so we'll just replace that with 26 you can also choose to leave the copy of your messages on the server for a certain amount of time. Uh, POP3 is really good like that because the emails will eventually delete off the server so it doesn't take up too much space. However, the emails will still be on your computer because you've downloaded them. So 14 days is perfectly fine unless you're receiving a huge amount of emails. 
but uh, we'll just hit OK there and we'll just test the account settings so if you click on test it says in progress so it's able to log on and send a test email and that's perfect so that's fully set up so all you have to do is click on next now it will do another test close that and congratulations the email is set up perfectly so this should work on any one that has cPanel as their web host now you can go ahead and set up the same email address on your iPhone or your Android phone uh, just use the same settings that you've used on your Outlook uh, I can't give you tutor tutorial for those devices on here but I hope that's helped you uh, get through the first step of setting up your email address thanks very much